Hello. Now let's try to understand interaction between a quadratic function and a line. Okay, let's uh, okay, let's read the problem first. A quadratic function is defined by fx equals to 2x minus x square. A linear function is defined by gx equals to mx plus 1. So it's a general equation. m is a variable here. What slopes of what values of the slope of the line would make it tangent to the parabola? Okay, so what you need to understand is that if there is a parabola and there is a line, they can actually intersect in one point, they can intersect in two points, or they may not intersect at all, correct? So there are three different scenarios. If they intersect only at one point, then the line will be tangent to the parabola, correct? So that's what we want to figure out here, correct? So uh, for a line to be tangent to the parabola, what we should do is we should, they will have a common point, correct? So we should equate these two things and then bring the terms together. We'll get a quadratic function and then solve for b square minus 4ac and equate b square minus 4ac as 0 because only then there will be one point of intersection. If b square minus 4ac is positive, then there will be 2. If b square minus 4ac is negative, then none. Okay, So that's the policy which we are going to adopt here. So for them to interact or intersect, uh, fx e should be equal to gx at some point, right? So we'll say fx equals to gx, correct? Now, what is fx? f of x is 2x minus x square. So we have 2x minus x square is equal to gx is mx plus 1. mx plus 1. Correct. Now, to solve it, let's bring everything to one side. Since x square is negative here, I prefer to bring them to the other side. So I'll write here 0 equals to, I'll take x square on this side, so it becomes x square minus 2x plus mx plus 1. Is it okay? Correct. So, so now we can factor out x from here and then see what do we get. So I can write this as x square and I can take x factor out. So if I can take x factor out then I can write this as let me think m is on this side and I'm taking x factor out and left with m here and minus 2 from there. Does it make sense? And then plus 1. Do you get it? Think first reorganize. We'll write mx here and minus 2x there. And then we'll factor out x. So we'll get m minus 2. Got it? So this is the quadratic formula which you'll get. Now, here, for this to have one solution, b square minus 4 is the discriminant should be 0, right? So, what is B here? B is M minus 2 and A is 1 and C is also 1. Correct? Now, so let's figure out what is, let's equate that discriminant B square minus 4 AC equals to 0. So, B is M minus 2. So, we'll write M minus 2 whole square minus 4 times A is 1 and c is also 1, right? equals to 0. So now, to solve this, I will take 4 on this side. This is a 4 times 1 times 1 is 1. So I get m minus 2 whole square equals to 4, correct? Now we'll square root it and so we'll get m minus 2 equals to square root of this with plus and minus sign. Remember that. Whenever you square root, you have to do plus and minus, correct? And, you know, plus and minus square root of 4 is plus and minus 2. So I can write this as m equals, now I'll bring this 2 on this side. 2 plus and minus 2, correct? Now, so our m value for 0 discriminant, that means a slope for tangent. So we get two different values. One is 2 plus 2, right? So... What is 2 plus 2 here? 2 plus 2 is 4. And 1 is 2 minus 2, which is 
zero. Do you see that? So those are the two possible values. Is zero possible value? Let's see. So our function gx was mx plus one. So let me write gx as mx plus one. Now m value could be four or two. So we got if it is four, then the gx is 4x plus 1. Correct? That is one solution. Another solution is when it is equals to 0. If m is 0, then what solution do we get? We get gx equals to 0 plus 1. Just line 1 that means. Do you see? gx plus 1. Does it make sense? This is also a line. but This is a horizontal line. Do you get it? So there are possibly two values of m and that what values of slope of the line could make? So there are two values m. So we say for m equals to 0 and 4, so m equals to 0 and 4 are our solution, they should make tangent to this. Let's try to further investigate this, okay? Uh, now let's try to sketch this problem, okay? Let me show you a sketch here. Let me just draw some line here. And let's sketch the function fx equals to 2x minus 4. Now, can you sketch fx equals to 2x minus 4? What should we do? We can factor this, right? So, let's do it in a different thing. Uh, so, we have here fx. If I factor this, I get x common, right? So, if I take x common, I get 2 minus x, correct? So, I have two intercepts. One is at x equals to 0 and the other one is at x equals to 2, correct? x equals to 2. Now, these are my two x intercepts for this function, fx equals to 2x minus x square. Where will my maximum be? Right in the center, right? This is minus, so it has to go down, right? So, right in the center, center of 0 and 2 is 1, right? So, here, somewhere here, I have my axis of symmetry. So, this axis of symmetry is at x equals to 0 plus 2 divided by 2. It is 0 plus 2 divided by 2, which is at 1, right? So, x equals to 1 is my axis of symmetry. So, here this point is, let me write this point as 0, okay? This is 1 and this is 2, okay? Correct. Now, so axis of symmetry is at x equals to 1. So, what is my value of the function as 1? f of 1 is equals to, we'll put 1 here, 1 times 2 minus 1, which is 1. 2 minus 1 is 1, 1 times 1 is 1. So, I have a value 1 here. So, I can draw from here my parabola. Do you see that? So, that is my parabola, which is something like this. This parabola is fx equals to 2x minus x square. Is that okay? Right. Now, that's my parabola. And how about the line which I'm getting? Now, we'll see the line. So, line is y equals to 4x plus 1. That means 1 is your y-intercept. So, 1 is, this is the one value. 1 is your y-intercept, right? And 4 is your slope. That means you go rise 4 and then 1. So, Let's say this is your 1. So, so 1, 2, 3, 4 and 1. Something like this. So if I join this, I get a line. And this line will be tangent to my parabola, right? The sketch is not very accurate, but it does show that somewhere like this. So I can draw a line from here, which will be parabola, tangent to the parabola. Let me draw this line here. Do you see? Tangent at this point. Correct? So that's my line. And this line is gx equals to mx plus 1, where m is 4. So it is 4x plus 1. Correct? This is one of the lines. And the second line is gx equals to 1, which is, do you see this line? This line is also tangent to a curve, right? Which is gx equals to 1. Do you see that? So these are the two lines which are tangent to our parabola. Well, if I have some other value of m, let's say it is not 4, but it is 2, in that case, what will happen? 
See, if it is 2, from here the slope is not that steep, then this line, right? It will never intersect. Do you see that? If it is anywhere between 1 and 4, it will never intersect. Do you see? Any line between 1 and 4 will never intersect. Do you understand? This line is going to be a tangent, right? But if I have a line which is kind of like this, that means m is negative, then it intersects at two points. Do you see that? It intersects at two points, correct? So, we have conditions where a line for different values of m, line could intersect at one point like this or like this or at two points like any of these lines, correct? They will intersect with some negative type of slope or may never intersect. For example, line these. So every line like this will never intersect, correct? So that is how you have to see these kinds of problems where we want to see or analyze how a quadratic function and a linear function intersect. So you can see it graphically or you can see it algebraically. Algebraically equate the two, bring all the terms to one side, you get a quadratic function and in that quadratic function find out b square minus 4ac. If b square minus 4ac is equal to 0, you are looking for a condition of one point of intersection which is a tangent. If b square minus 4ac is less than 0, then they don't intersect. It will be some condition like this, correct? If b square minus 4ac is more than 0, then we will have two points, correct? So that is how you have to see, correct? When we say they intersect at one point, it is not necessary that they may be tangent. Remember that also, correct? Because only this line was tangent here but if the parabola would have been like that imagine if I change the slope from 4 to 5 right then I will have a line like this which will go through the curve not as a tangent correct well here in this particular case we found that these are the two possible values which gave us as a tangent okay thank you I do I hope you understand what we're trying to see here, okay? Thank you.